Hello and welcome to our 20th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. Today's training session is on the Diesel Particulate Filter Pressure Sensor, or DPF Pressure Sensor for short. Don't worry if you're new to this topic, we'll explain it in simple terms so that even beginners can easily understand how it works. Please see the link for the series in the description. Let's get started. The DPF pressure sensor plays a crucial role in keeping your diesel engine running clean and efficiently. This sensor measures the difference in pressure before and after the diesel particulate filter. The DPF is a filter that traps harmful soot and particulate matter from the exhaust gases, keeping pollution levels lower. The DPF pressure sensor checks how much back pressure is building up inside the filter. Now let's discuss, how does a DPF pressure sensor work? The DPF pressure sensor has two tubes one connected before the DPF upstream and one after the DPF downstream. These two points allow the sensor to measure the difference in pressure. As exhaust gases pass through the DPF, the sensor measures the pressure on both sides. If the filter is clean, the pressure difference will be small, but as the filter becomes clogged, the pressure before the DPF upstream increases, creating a larger difference between the two readings. The sensor sends this pressure data to the engine control unit, ECU. If the pressure difference gets too high, it means the DPF is getting clogged and the ECU will take action. It might trigger a regeneration process where the filter burns off the trapped soot to clean itself. If the DPF becomes too clogged and the regeneration process doesn't work, the ECU will turn on a warning light on your dashboard, alerting you to the issue. In some cases, it might reduce engine power to prevent further damage. The DPF pressure sensor acts like a monitor, telling the car when the filter is getting full and needs to be cleaned or replaced. And that's how the DPF pressure sensor works. It's an essential part of keeping your diesel engine and the environment healthy by monitoring the DPF. Regular maintenance and keeping an eye on the warning signs can help you avoid costly repairs. Where are the DPF pressure sensors located? The DPF pressure sensors are usually found in the exhaust system near the diesel particulate filter, DPF. There are two connections one before the DPF and one after it. These sensors measure the pressure difference between these two points to determine if the filter is clogged. Imagine a water pipe with a filter inside. If you measure the water pressure before and after the filter, you can tell if the filter is blocking the water flow. That's what the DPF pressure sensors do with exhaust gases. If a DPF pressure sensor fails, it can't measure the pressure difference correctly. This can lead to several issues. Your engine's ECU might not know when the DPF is clogged, so it won't trigger the regeneration process to clean the filter. You could see a warning light on your dashboard, or the engine might go into limp mode to protect itself from damage. In short, a failed sensor means the system can't manage the DPF properly, which can lead to performance problems. Can you drive with a faulty DPF pressure sensor? Technically, you can drive with a faulty DPF pressure sensor, but it's not a good idea. If the sensor isn't working, you won't know if the DPF is clogged. This could cause damage to the engine, increase emissions, or even force the car into limp mode. It's best to get the sensor fixed as soon as possible. The cost to replace a diesel particulate filter, DPF pressure sensor, typically ranges between $200 to $400 USD, depending on the make and model of the vehicle and where the replacement is done. To test a DPF pressure sensor, follow these simple steps. One, visual check. First, check the sensor and its wires for any visible damage. Two, multimeter test. You can use a multimeter to check the sensor's voltage output. The reading should match the manufacturer's specifications. If it's off, the sensor might be faulty. 3. Check for blockages. Ensure the hoses connected to the sensor are not blocked, as blockages can give false readings. It's like checking the pressure gauge of a bicycle tire. If the gauge is not giving accurate readings, you won't know how much air is in the tire. Just like how a faulty sensor can't tell if the DPF is clogged. Can you repair a DPF pressure sensor? Unfortunately, DPF pressure sensors usually can't be repaired. If the sensor is damaged or faulty, the best solution is to replace it with a new one. Trying to fix it might not solve the issue completely. If you're familiar with basic car repairs, you can change the DPF pressure sensor yourself. Here's how. 1. Locate the sensor near the exhaust system. 2. Disconnect the sensor's electrical connector and hoses. 3. Remove the sensor and install the new one. 4. Reconnect the hoses and electrical connector. 
always check the owner's manual for instructions specific to your vehicle. And that's everything you need to know about the diesel particulate pressure sensor. Keeping this sensor in good working condition is important for your vehicle's performance and emissions. Our next video in the series will be on suspension height sensor. Please see the description for links to the playlist. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment below. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more automotive tutorials. Thank you for joining us today, and see you next time.